Hey guys, Ethan here from Extreme RC 4x4, and today I got a real treat for you guys. Um, this is the Provoat Alpha 21 inch uh, patrol boat. This is based off of a PVR or patrol boat river that was used uh, during the Vietnam War or uh, during that era. It's a really awesome boat, uh, it looks really scale and uh, it features dual jet drives and it performs really well actually it's not just a, a slow put around boat this will uh, this will actually go pretty good so uh, as you can see from here uh, we got some working lights and uh, a bunch of scale details and uh, looks really sweet um, on the bottom or the other side here uh, you can see some more information this is kind of uh, just an introduction to uh, the boats uh, as well as some of the other boats offered by Provo. Uh, here you can get some specs. Uh, it's about 8 inches wide, uh, 21 inches long. And uh, let's see what else. It's an ABS plastic hull. Uh, the ESC is 60 amps and it is waterproof. Uh, you get 390 size, 22 turn brushed motors. And there is two because there's two jet drives and we get a spectrum remote which is really nice and top speed 15 miles an hour so uh, you will need a battery and a charger and remote batteries um, I recommend a lipo battery uh, here on this side you can see uh, the dual jet drives the working lights uh, the transmitter here and uh, some of these accessories like this uh, machine gun in the back. Uh, and on this side, just uh, another image. So luckily for you guys, I've already gone ahead and uh, plugged her all in. So you can see uh, all the lights and everything working. Uh, it does come with this nice wooden stand here, uh, which is really nice, uh, sits on there quite well. And we also have the uh, Spectrum radio for this, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, no antenna to mess with, just this little shark fin. Uh, all your trims are on the back, uh, you can turn the steering rate way up so it's fast. Uh, the throttle rate, fast too. So you can adjust all this stuff really. Uh, all the things that you kind of need for this boat. We also get this uh, owner's manual in here. I'm not going to get into that too much because uh, I don't really need to. Uh, this flag in here actually has a cloth uh, texture to it. If you can see there, it's not just a shiny gloss uh, flag. It's more of a cloth um, that you can stick on this flagpole right here in the back which I, I believe to be metal. Um, we also get some Velcro for the boat and your battery, as well as the standard bind plug for binding. Uh, getting into the boat, you can see the lights. They look really sweet. Uh, this turret uh, actually moves, and you can have it uh, remotely operational um, if you were to stick a servo horn on this and uh, a servo inside of the mount here I can show you guys that so you'd stick a servo in there and uh, you would need a new remote because this is only a two channel remote um, some of the scale accessories we have on here uh, the machine guns they look really good uh, you get all these tires uh, used on the dock as a, a, a bumper of sorts Here we have some more machine guns in the back and a grenade launcher, I believe. Uh, we got a gas can. Uh, these PBRs were actually diesels and the real ones, I believe, which is kind of cool. Uh, onto the other side here, you can see all of our uh, lift points here. It'd be really cool if I actually had something to lift them with, maybe a crane. Um, 
we got this kind of radar or scanner, I believe, uh, and it's supported by these little thin strings, which is kind of neat. I wouldn't want to pull on it too hard, though. And this top here actually is cloth. It's not a hard plastic. Um, as you can see on the edge here, it's kind of peeling up a little bit. Uh, we do have a, a life buoy up here in the front, which also looks neat. And this just slides out here. Uh, so it is attached by wires. And you can see here, you kind of got a little open room. But once we get into the back here, uh, you can see more of the, um, the cabin. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. So you can see inside of the cabin there, all the gauges. Uh, there's a steering wheel. And um, you can see there's a bunch of little levers in there, which is, I believe, how you drive the boat. Uh, so that's pretty neat. There is a fire extinguisher on this side, as well as what looks to be a door that might go into a, a cabin of sorts. Uh, looking into the boat from here, you can see uh, the Spectrum receiver and my big old LiPo battery that's sitting in there right now. So we just want to make sure these wires go back in there and then I can go ahead and pop it back on. Now, uh, this hatch also comes off right here uh, with the machine guns and the grenade launcher on it. Um, it has four magnets on each of the corners, which I have scraped the paint off of. Uh, originally, these were painted, and they're also painted on the boat. So I went ahead and scraped the paint off of uh, these guys here, and now it sits a, it's a little bit stronger, but um, still not really, really strong. Uh, from here uh, you can see that there's two seemingly uh, pointless holes right here and I was just kind of sitting in here one morning because uh, that's what I do and I was thinking about these holes and how you can get that servo out and there's actually two screws directly below this hole and this hole uh, that you remove the servo with so they're not pointless you use them to remove the servo so I got that off my mind. I figured out what it's used for. Uh, you can also see the uh, the motors inside of here, the 390, uh, 22 turn motors. Um, they are wired um, in series, I believe you'd call it. So if one burns out, I believe they'll both stop working. So that's something to consider uh, if you're trying to break down uh, what is wrong with your boat. Uh, the servo in here is, uh, I don't have any complaints about it. Uh, the mounting system could definitely be better. Uh, it does seem like they kind of, the jets uh, bottom out on the outside there. So maybe if uh, it wasn't such a long travel, uh, would be better. But uh, not exactly sure. Um, I would remove this cover, however, um, I will remove it in a later video uh, that I'll be greasing the jet drives in here. Uh, just because it is kind of a pain to remove all of those screws, I've already done it and uh, greased them, actually. And uh, I do have a little bit of complaints about the way that it's assembled in the factory because as you can see, there is kind of a scratch right there as well as a scratch right here and these scratches are directly above where uh, the screws go in so my thought is that where they're being assembled at the factory uh, whoever is assembling them is uh, accidentally scratching up the sides of all these hulls or just out of carelessness it's the same way on the other side uh, right here and uh, right over here it's hard to see on this side but um that kind of uh, just a slight disappointment I guess you could say in build quality um, the jet drives here
pretty sweet. You gotta make sure to hold on to everything as you tip it over. But um, those are the grates for the jet drives, which uh, I think will keep the uh, the crap out of them as long as you're not uh, running them in too shallow waters. Uh, it should do just fine. Uh, you can see here our jet uh, jet drive outputs here, and uh, they just run off of one single linkage uh, that comes out the side here. If you guys can see that, probably not. This ledge is just right in the way. But um, it's a really awesome looking boat overall. Um, I really like it. Uh, it's really right, right where I'm looking at for boats. Um, I love that scale realism. I absolutely love scale realism, but uh, it's not something that's going to be really slow. Uh, so it's fun to put around with, and it looks good doing it. Uh, these lights absolutely get me. I love them. They look really sweet. And uh, I'd love to have a servo on this turret and uh, get it moving around. I think that'd be sweet. Uh, another thing is we do have a anchor up here and uh, it's tied to another cleat you can see there's cleats all around for all the tires uh, so for ready run boat this is detailed incredibly um, I really really love how it looks um, the kind of brownish red on the bottom uh, with the military green on top that looks really good as well and um, I really can't wait to get it out there I've been watching uh, videos online of the real PBRs in action uh, Vietnam just really awesome boats so anyways guys a, a quick tip for you I have uh, four uh, 2S 5000 mAh hard cell lipo batteries it's what I run in all of my scale trucks and I could not get it in through this hatch uh, it's just really difficult to do because if you go in this way uh, you're just going to hit this floor because it's kind of going like this and the battery just doesn't seem to go in that way so if we go ahead and unplug it here By the way guys it does not come with a Dean's plug I soldered my own onto it uh, just because I run Dean's plugs uh, it's kind of like my universal uh, battery connector but what we can do is pull the turret out front just like that push the battery back up front I'm going to take it out So that's the only hole I could manage to get this battery through. I'll go ahead and show you again, just in case nobody believes me or uh, you want to see it done again. Uh, it just kind of goes in there, wiggle it around a little bit. Let's see here. So you just got to find that right spot. got to get it around all the wires inside of there so can it be done yes uh, would I recommend it uh, I don't know if you can get a battery that fits in there really well um, that's good I know there's uh, batteries if they're just a little bit thinner than what mine is they fit in there a lot better uh, but this is uh, a uh, good option for me it seems to work well as of now all right so there you go guys that is the pro boat alpha patrol boat it's a 21 inch long model uh, I read online that it's roughly about an 18th scale so uh, maybe a little bit smaller than what you guys are used to but uh, it is a pretty good sized boat I would say and uh, fun to play around with so uh, Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I will see you guys in the next episode.